Hey guys, Rich here. Real quick video today. A short, I guess. Um, I've been putting a bunch of these Casa smart switches in my house, and um, I've been buying the three-way switches for everything because it's only like a couple bucks more and rather just standardize and have the same switches everywhere. Ran into an issue today though. I So they have three circuits here. One I don't need a smart switch on. Um, one is the overhead light in this room. I want a smart switch on it. Uh, the space, the, the middle gang in this box was for a fan that's no longer used. So the center switch, I actually don't have connected to any load at all. It's the neutrals connected. The hot is connected, but there was nothing connected to either of the traveler screws on the top. Now, why would I want to do that? Well, with smart actions, you can set up a switch to do other stuff. So I had set up a smart action to turn on a smart plug to turn on my desk lamp when the switch was turned on, but it wasn't working. No matter what I did, whether I pushed the switch or whether I actuated it through the Casa app, the ring would light up for a second and it would turn off and the smart action wouldn't fire. Did a bunch of head scratching, realized that maybe these switches, unless they see a load, they just don't think the circuit is on and the smart action never even gets to complete. So I added a 100,000 ohm resistor between one of the traveler screws and neutral. A little hard to see there. And now it works perfectly. I grab my, my phone here. So I named this switch just aux one. And now, you can see there's a bit of a delay, but the smart action fires and the switch knows whether it's on or off. So if I, right now it's on, if I turn it off, it knows it's off, the little ring comes on. And a 100,000 ohm resistor on a 120 volt circuit is super, super low. It's like a, around a tenth of a watt, I think. So that little guy is only, actually the circuit is off. Hold on, turn it back on. I had checked it before I shot this and the highest I saw it get up to was about 112 degrees Fahrenheit, so almost nothing. I'm actually surprised that uh, a resistor with this high of a value um, even worked. Uh, I thought I was gonna have to pass more current through it for it to detect that I had turned the dummy circuit on. So there you go. Uh, I searched online, I couldn't find anybody that had encountered the same problem. But if you've got one of these uh, TP-Link three-way smart switches and you're trying to do something similar with it, just add yourself a 100,000 ohm resistor between neutral and one of the traveler leads, and you're good to go. I'm obviously not leaving it like uh, like this. Um, I'm going to shrink wrap this guy up and extend the lead so I can have it properly, uh, you know, stowed in the box here. But hope this helps somebody out. Take care, guys.